a conflict frozen for three decades but never resolved. Now a fragile truce in the Western Sahara between Morocco and a pro-independence group is under threat. The Polisario Front has been fighting for an independent state in Western Sahara, an area wedged between Mauritania to the south and Morocco to the north, with a population of around half a million people. But Morocco also claims this vast stretch of desert. Rabat accuses the Polisario Front of blocking a main highway that's preventing the flow of goods between Mauritania and Morocco. But the Polisario Front accuses Morocco of carrying out attacks against its people and of igniting war. Morocco has publicly and officially acknowledged the fact of launching an armed uh, attack on a group of civilians demonstrating peacefully in uh, uh, Western Sahara, uh, a blatant violation of the ceasefire, and it has led to the resumption of hostilities between the Moroccan occupying forces and the forces of the Frente Polisario. Morocco's government held an emergency meeting to address the situation. This road is important when it comes to the movement of civilians and goods, and because such actions were a violation of the UN-sponsored ceasefire agreement, Morocco, in order to fulfill its duties, ordered its military forces to intervene and build a sand barrier to protect the area from any future breaches. Negotiations between Morocco, the Polisario, Algeria and Mauritania have remained suspended for several months. The UN is calling for restraint. The Secretary General remains committed to doing his utmost to avoid the collapse of the ceasefire that has been in place since 6 September 1991. And he is determined to do everything possible to remove all obstacles to the resumption of the political process. The two sides have battled for control of the region since 1975, when Spain pulled out of the area. Morocco took control. But an armed rebellion led to a war that continued until 1991, when the UN brokered an armistice. But it's a conflict that's left tens of thousands of people displaced from their homes. Many of the Sahrawi refugees have been living for decades in vast, sprawling camps along Algeria's border with Morocco. The conditions are harsh, and they continue to rely on humanitarian assistance to survive. But the political impasse continues, and it's unlikely these people will return to their homes anytime soon. Laura Bird and Manley, Al Jazeera.